I have the VPR 400 here guys thanks so much for supporting me and for supporting this product it's been a labor of love um, I'm really excited about it any day now I'm expecting my second patent to be issued for it uh, it's been a great success even more successful than I thought actually so successful we're having trouble keeping it in stock and so my goal over the weekend I thought well we've got to design something here so that we have another one another option that I can maintain um, some inventory on a little bit easier but two uh, something to meet some unfulfilled needs that I have with the 400 now don't get me wrong the 400 is a great camera it will work well for most of most almost all dentists and staff almost all the time where it does fall short sometimes is runtime I think for longer procedures uh, the battery life could be better and so I am happy actually I'm stoked use your own word to introduce VPR 500. Now the VPR 500 as you can see is a little bit larger in every direction uh, it is a little about an inch taller and wider and it has significantly bigger diffusion panels as well so everything's just a, a breadth bigger but for that little bit of extra size and a little I'll be honest a little bit of extra weight you're getting a 3000 milliamp battery milliamp hour battery in each panel versus 2000 milliamp hours in the previous model uh, both models continue to be compatible with your gigantic Apple or Samsung phones so no worries there about phone compatibility each way either way they both continue to use the magnetic uh, snap system uh, this is an iPhone 12 we still use stickers on on it and it also has a few other cool features so th you'll notice that the controls here are digital they don't use dial analog dials on this one you hold the power button down on this side and you get really blue light or you can optionally set it this is a bicolor LED panel that lets you set it warm as well so you can do warm light to make skin tones look warmer to blend in with your room light if you're doing a testimonial or you can have it cool a higher higher degree Kelvin so this is like an 8000 Kelvin so that you can have whiter looking ceramics on some of your tabletop shots um, or you can go warm as I said 2500 Kelvin or 3000 Kelvin so that you can um, have a little bit less eye glare too it's a little easier on the eyes with the warm light so options and choices I like that if you look on the side of the unit here you'll see that it's got a digital display so on each side you'll see that it has the power level or the intensity it has a electron a digital battery gauge and it's got a your color temperature so every time you turn it on and off it remembers the last color temperature and the last brightness setting that you use so you can keep it consistently at 30 percent uh, brightness as i have it for longer battery life or you can crank it up to a hundred percent for some eye searing brightness as needed the LA, the diffuser panels are larger than the old model and they also are solid there's no venting on these ones um, this manufacturer decided to use a spacer instead but we space it even further for the uh, for the diffusion effect that's in my patent if you want to go read it um, so all in all this is a model with some some minor but for the right people major improvements namely again being more battery capacity uh, having different color options and also having um, a more robust build I think this is by far the sturdiest feeling uh, VPR I've, I've built to date as well so that's it for now I hope you guys have enjoyed this early look at the VPR 500. If you have any questions, please do leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, I'm the video. I'm trying to make a thing. Oh.